Here my boy Slim, Ooh, we got my Mr. boy Trim, Portal, we got Portal, Enforcers, we got Enforcers, the world, we got everyone, and we're here with my homie Ruben, who got top four of the UDS Tulsa, playing what deck, my friend? Best deck. Best deck, what is it? Uh, second Spiral. best deck. Second deck. <laughs> second, with Trip says Pendulum. Yeah, Pendulum Spiral. Pendulum. Oh, 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 that's nice, though. <laughs> you got got, bro. I'm bro, don't, 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 uh, bro, my, 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 you can't right. tell everyone what we're playing for Vegas, okay? Yeah, man, this is a fake list. Secret, secret. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fake yeah. list. Uh, start off with shout outs, obviously, so yeah, let's uh, do it. no one forgets and doesn't watch it at the end of the video. Shout outs to Kamal. Uh, he's the person I test with the most. Tell my theory. Shout out to Manav. He stayed up all night with me testing the deck uh, the night before. We Listen, went to I like literally got a funny story before you say this. I, he was, they went to test at midnight. I go sleep, whatever. I come back 7 a.m. They're still there. They were still. We there. built the best. Like I really think it was the best deck. I just I got unlucky in top four. It, it happens. Uh, but there's some things that I could change with it that I'm gonna mess around with. Maybe add pendulum cards. You know, Pen there you go. <laughs> wink, wink, pendulum yeah, cards. Shout out to everyone back at home. Shout out to everyone I haven't seen in so long. You the squad, the obviously. Squad. Deuce is right there. Oh yeah, you are. He's hey, nice. Deuce, we love Deuce. Deuce, Deuce, Deuce is nice. Deuce is yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's always a deck profile. He's an yeah, uh, Just shout out to everyone that I've hung out with this weekend. It's been a while since I've been to an event, so it was really fun. Yeah, I missed you. Glad to have you back. And you performed well, yeah. so it was great. Let's yeah. get into it. So yeah. obviously, uh, one quick fix, one drones. They're not that good, so you only play one of them. <laughs> no, Konami did yeah. it for you, Konami. bro. Yeah, so like, they're not that good. Untouched uh, by Banlist. Two agent, one tough. So like, essentially three agent. This is just better going second, most of the time. Like, there's times where you just want this to be a special summon, and then your hand just becomes stronger. But I didn't want to enter the tournament without tough in my main deck because I am infamous for losing die rolls. <laughs> so I really just wanted to be safe, and I played against eight guys throughout Swiss. What? So it was really important so to have tough in my work. deck. Yeah, just going like resort tough every turn was crazy. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, it, it was really important. Uh, then next to the Spiral Monsters, obviously. Oh, two Mass Plan. Uh, two Mass Plan is important just in case you draw one with Souls. You always want to resolve that card. It's the best card in your deck. So it also comes up in one specific combo. You need the Mass Plan in your graveyard. So you can riff your opponent, Curious Thump for any random card that you want. Do the full combo with Sleeper. But the thing is, you run out of boss in your graveyard to banish for Sleeper. So you need the second Mass Plan. It, in that specific combo. Uh, sleeper, Last Sword. Uh, we thought about cutting this, but it's just it's too strong like being able to protect your sleeper is really important I, I lost one game because I just couldn't keep my last sword on it versus Jesse we grinded for about 30 35 minutes I my sleeper oh my came God. on the field. I think two or three times It's just I didn't, wasn't, didn't have a way to protect it. So my board kept blowing up and I couldn't establish any control oh, man. obviously uh, My uh, nice the god card. Yeah, the god card essentially <laughs> this card's crazy uh, Obviously sends mass plan draws cards um, This is probably the best extender in the deck uh, you don't have to normal summon to use it, but this is the last card you ever want to activate because uh, it's so strong it can push it can see multiple cards discarding traps while your opponents like can't play around it. So if like you start with like a normal summon like tough agent going second, like you bait one or two interruptions, then you go like activate like goods, try to push again, and then you summon souls. They shouldn't have enough pushes to keep up with you at that point, or even if they do, you should establish more control than they do. Uh, then my favorite engine in the deck. Three scrap, Ooh. one O line, and then apparently my best friend because yeah. I drew him four out of my five top cut matches. Damn. Or five out of my six, actually. Um, this engine's crazy. Uh, me and Manav agreed that O line was just better than Jet Synchron because we didn't, wouldn't have to discard a card and we wanted to keep our hand advantage. As you're going to see later, we decided to main hand trap, so it was really important to not lose any cards just to try and combo. And it makes it like a one card starter, so when you draw it going second, you can just play freely. And onto the hand traps, two Ogre. To crow, to drool. These are like somewhat standard for the main deck. Uber was our choice, uh, like flex box, because we didn't have, want to have multiples at the same ones. Uh, these aren't hard ones for turns, but we wanted to have more impact by drawing different hand traps together. So, like drawing two crows, it's strong, but it's like drawing two uh, drools, isn't it? So, I wanted to like space them out and just be able to draw any combination of these, and they should be able to stop any turn. The Ogre was very good versus the Luna deck, either hitting a Tiger so they can't reoccur or hitting Redoer so they can't search Gamma, they don't have the Redoer on my turn. If I ever played against Trick, I would have a Servant. If uh, your opponent doesn't play around it, they can get punished by you just Ogre Resort, Ogre Helix. Like, it's just the most like overall decent hand trap versus every deck. Like, I Ogre Debug in my bubble feature match and it just made him pass turn. It's really good. Uh, they all were great, I never like once wanted a different the only one, like this, could have just been impermanence. Uh, and the reason it could have been impermanence was just to beat Winda uh, game that one. Yeah, Winda's like very hard to out. It, that's the reason I lost. So, 
Uh, that's one of the changes I would make. And then obviously three call by the grave. Uh, we don't want to lose to hand traps. And that's another reason we played just two of's because we didn't want, want to draw a call by the grave and have to call by the grave the same hand trap we have in hand. Yeah. Three goods. Um, three's a lot. I did see multiples a couple times, but I just wanted to be able to play almost every game and just make my deck as consistent as possible without losing to the goal. That was the same reason for playing the scraps. Uh, I thought that everyone would just be main decking the goal. It's not awful versus like the scrap version, but you can just play around it easier. It's good versus like the danger version or the popper up, which got very popular this weekend. So I thought it was extremely important. It can also like help post board to like set the floodgate of choice or trap of choice that I decided to play. Two cars. So it's literally in line. I told Manov, let's just play a second one, and it was our 41st card. Uh, the, it came up so many times from, I think it came up at least once every round, if not multiple times, just being able to summon back a monster in the grind game, it being able to protect from battle, it's just crazy. Some people just don't read their cards. Uh, obviously the best field spell ever printed, uh, another copy of it. Foolish, one for one, reborn, so like, all these cards are standard. And then, the one, one of you don't want to draw Assault. Yeah, it, it, it sucks, but you have to play it. Yeah. And then the three probably, like, arguably best cards in the deck because it's just not once return. Three more reborns, and then we tell you why. This card we decided to main deck just in case we got mind game one or just had a random floodgate come up. This is just extremely important because we heard a lot of people siding mine or even main decking mine and going second decks. And I didn't want to just auto loose to them going mine, sleeper pop, bait trigate, activate mine again, and then I just scoop. So, yeah. Uh, it was really good. It won me a lot of games. It got sided out a decent amount of time, but it's really good versus the rogue decks. Uh, tokens, come on, we miss you, <laughs> come buddy. Come on, bro. So as you saw, since we played DD Crow, we played the one that searches it. I'm a big fan of the princess route because it can typically get you an extra extender. But if I'm main decking DD Crow, there's no reason not to play it. And obviously, Link Rebo, Barricade Blocker is one of the better cards in the extra deck. Two Helix. Uh, God card. This he card is so, so dumb. I summoned two a couple times. It didn't come up too much. It was just to put respect on the dino deck. I didn't want to get Lithosage on turn one and have to rely on hard drawing souls. Yeah, no, uh, I'm Probably the best link monster in the extra deck. So many people just like would not stop this. And then they hit trap me later once I'm already on a curious board. That person, it just doesn't matter. Or going second is just a free non targeting pop. It's just so strong and so versatile. There's so many ways to combo with it. It's crazy. Obviously, Four nightmares you can't play without these they're all important griffin being my favorite one it just sets any card you need and being able to side deck floodgates with triple goods in your main deck basically you play four copies when you need the card and curious in your extra gives you access to it as well or just one copy when you don't and then all these cards come up in different situations you try to end on Cerberus past game one so you don't have to negate the uh lightning storm with trigate which is kind of important and then just the big wing monsters curious one of the better ones as well. It just toolboxes any card you need out of your deck. Trigate. I don't think anyone let me do the full combo. I think they all just conceded before, which is kind of sad. I like styling on my opponent, but <laughs> it happens. Uh, the Protector, Hand Traps, and then obviously Portal Sword. Oh, portal Load, and Whoa. then Portal Sword. Both uh, of them. Yeah, so I decided to play both of them because I wanted to respect Sleeper. In the mirror match, Sleeper, as everyone remembers from back in the day, is just really hard to out in the mirror. Phoenix, Unicorn, and Cerberus make it a lot easier, but if still you can go into a simplified game state where they hand trap you, you hand trap them back, you summon a board, board load, <laughs> and while they have Sleeper, you can just take theirs, summon your own, and then the game should practically end from there. It's really hard to come back from that. Yeah. So, so it came up a lot this weekend? For yeah, it came it up wise. not versus the Spyro, actually. I played versus... Uh, not Metaphys, it was the Worm deck, the Tenny deck. Oh, and so I got really scared because I actually thought the deck was very interesting when it first came out, and I figured out it can extra link you with two cards. Oh so gosh. when he started with the same two cards I know it was an extra link, I thought I was just gonna have to concede. But he just ended on two monsters that like were unaffected, I can't die by battle, this, this, this is like my only way to like get rid of them. Oh wow. Yeah, so wow. if it wasn't, I summoned it twice because he composed it. If it wasn't for this card, I would have lost that match instantly. Like oh. I just would not have an out to his monsters. And, most importantly, the side deck. I thought the side deck was the best part of my deck because it covered almost everything. So two Lancia, uh, also one just like Orcus, if just in case someone wanted to try it, or uh, Dinos. I actually never sided it in. The only time I sided it in was in the mirror match. Uh, in top eight, I made Hani go first. I just wanted to have as many hand traps as possible. So like, even if it wasn't the most optimal one, he ends on a weaker board and he would have sided out some of his engine requirements to make his board even weaker. So I just wanted to be able to stop him somewhat and be able to attack the game. Uh, beer. I'm not a big fan of this card. I think it's like the least impactful hand trap, at least in the spiral mirror match, because it can be played around so easily, or like when you get in a beard, you can just continue comboing. Uh, 
Uh, it's really good versus the Salad deck, but Salad shouldn't be as popular right now, at least in my personal opinion. But it's just nice overall. It's really good versus the Luna deck, but I just don't think the Luna deck's as strong as people believe it is, so I didn't want to respect it too much. Two twin, uh, back row, two mind control. Oh my God, I, you just have to outwind. I can't stress that enough. That card's like, God card deep, wind man. is just ridiculous, so you have to play mind control. Then, now these are the cards that should be in everyone's side deck. Two Dark Ruler, two Lightning Storm, and then two Evenly. So these are like the blowout cards, the ones that like if you draw them, you should win the game. Uh, evenly and Storms are for back row decks. Uh, evenly and Rulers are typically for combo decks. Uh, the reason you see everything in my side deck is the 2 2 splits because I wanted to side so many different cards. I just did not have the room. It's the same thing for the hand traps in the main deck. I just wanted to have variety for a tournament like this with a lot of high caliber players. There's a lot of people that are going to be trying to like just play a deck different than meta to just do well because they know it can be consistent and they're a good player. So I just didn't want to lose to just random things during this event. Even though like you can afford to lose once or twice, I just didn't want to lose to Rogue or just a random deck that someone's a boss monster or anything like that. And then last card, a pointer. So I chose this as like my curious target or my Griffin target. This card's ridiculous. People don't your respect it. Hand, bro. The fact that I get to see your whole hand is huge. Like I can just negate the exact cards I need to. And then I drew it two other times that I didn't Griffin it. I drew it round eleven. Or it was. Um, I drew it with combo. I got double hand trapped in my combo, so I'm like, okay, that's fine. Set a pointer. I know I can kill him the following turn. Yeah. I pointer. Look at his hand. He had evenly double draw and uh, manifestation so like it just didn't matter what card i took out of his hand he just could not play and then on my next turn since i have full knowledge i just made a bolo sword searched off my mass point and then killed him wow it was just, yeah. like, like knowledge is so important in Yu-Gi-Oh, and people don't I, I don't think people respect that and that's why i thought this was the best one out of all of them nice. so that's everything 41 15 15 and then this prize yeah, free card, prize card man free yeah, prize, prize card. card all right Ruben. well congratulations again top four my friend you deserve it as always man next time you get that win man next YCS, time, next time, this yeah. 3v3 3v3, you know, 3v3, 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 3v3 yeah. but yeah congratulations again top four thanks for deck profile bro no problem my